Another match announced for Bound for Glory. Let's talk about it. Bam! Hey, what's going on? This is BQ, and they have announced another match for Bound for Glory. Again, random out of nowhere. That's the theme of this pay-per-view. All good, though. This one's going to be called the Take Your Shot Gauntlet. If you're not familiar with an Impact Wrestling Gauntlet, it's very similar to the Royal Rumble. Two wrestlers start off, there's an interval, a new wrestler comes out every two minutes or whatever it is. And when it comes down to the final two, this is where it differs. It is one fall to a finish. And the way this match works, whoever wins, whoever's the last one standing, gets an opportunity to challenge for the title of their choice. Could be the X Division Tag Team Knockouts Championship or the World Championship. Why you wouldn't choose the World Championship, I have no idea. Potential is there for this to be a fun match. But the potential is also there for there to be a lot of bad comedy. So we'll see what they do with this. But this gives them an opportunity to get everybody on the Bound for Glory card. So that's cool. You know, I'm not a big fan of doing a bunch of multi-man matches, but if it comes down to doing a battle royal or something, if it's going to get them on, cool. And the other thing that's really cool about this, because the winner can challenge for anything, that probably means we're going to see some of the knockouts in it. I'm going to assume. I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to speculate. But because you can challenge for any title, that means anybody can win. If you look at a Royal Rumble, the reason that match, in my opinion, has kind of become a waste of time watching it's because you're watching a you know hour long match, you know, but you only know like there's gonna be like six or seven possible winners of this thing, and that's being generous, you know. Uh, it's always the main eventer standing at the end, you know. The main eventers are drawing numbers after the twenties. You feel me on that one? So when you have stakes like this, where anybody can challenge for any title, and and you know they're even putting it out there, hey, it could be for the tag titles, it could be for the X division title. That gives an opportunity for anyone to win because you know when you're watching a Royal Rumble a tag team wrestler is not going to win the possibilities with this are endless but if you take a look at the bound for gold gauntlet matches those matches meant nothing for the most part it was a bunch of jobbers in there and you had one or two guys who could potentially win it when the last time they had that and Eli Drake was in it. I'm not talking about when he won the title. I'm talking about Bound for Glory. He was the only guy who could have won that. Was, I think it was a 10-man match, but he was the only person who could have won that match. No one else. Maybe Jesse Goddard. But the two winners, Eli Drake and Tyrus, both of them cashed in. Neither of them won. So at this point, a gauntlet at Bound for Glory means shit. And I'm going to tell you, I'm sorry for the negativity. My gut feeling is that this match will ultimately mean nothing. We're probably going to see that silly Japanese character in there. And I'm guessing we're going to see some Impact Stars of the Past, which is going to make this cool. Um, I'm, I'm almost willing to bet that they're going to do something like that. So that'll make it cool. That'll make it fun. It's going to be entertaining. I know that much. But I think at the end of the day, my gut tells me that it ultimately will mean nothing because in the past people who've won these matches don't go on to do anything. Think about when Tyrus cashed in. He cashed in and he got the opening match the opening match of impact for the world championship against Drew Galloway. It wasn't even the fucking main event. I don't even remember when Eli Drake cashed in. I just know he didn't win. I think I want to say he might have cashed in against Lashley, but I, I really don't I don't remember. You guys can let me know in the comments. And then they've invited Joe Madden, former manager of the Chicago Cubs, to be there and give managerial tips to whoever wins the match. Like how silly can you get? I don't know what all that shit's about. It's not even confirming he's gonna be there, saying he's invited. This does give an opportunity for the tag teams who are not involved in a match to get in here. I'm, I'm guessing we're gonna see some knockouts. We'll see. We'll probably at least see uh Jordan Grace in there or Jessica Havoc. You're going to see guys like Sabu, you know, some of these older names who have popped up on Impact recently. We're probably going to get, you know, the Aiden Princes and things like that too, which is going to be cool. You know, give some opportunity to these young guys. Chris Bay is going to be on this episode of Impact coming up. Maybe we're going to see him in that. That would be cool. Whatever happens, whoever wins, all I want as a fan is for this to mean something, to be important. This can be something we look forward to every year at Bound for Glory. Say about Impact, they have come up with some really good match ideas and concepts. You know, look at the mashup tournament. They've come up with good ideas, but they have no clue on a marketing standpoint how to make them a big deal. I want this to be a big deal. I want whoever wins to be serious and be a serious contender for a championship. 
But as random as Bound for Glory is, I still stand by. I think it's going to be a great show. Thanks for swinging by. This is the Impact Lounge. I am BQ. Give this video a thumbs up if you so please. Hit a subscribe if you're a first timer. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.